All right, so in this video, I have, uh, I just wanna go over how the sketch using two different sets of, it, of data works. Um, so this one has a data set for construction uh, going on in New York City, as well as the subways. And this is coming in via two different data sets. Uh, the first set is this one, where we have the construction, latitude and longitude, which city it is, um and the award that it was given um and the description and the other data set is the subways which just has the name and latitude and longitude now in my sketch what i've done is i have created two different variables in which to store the data so i'm not going to store the table or, or csv file in the same variable because I need to access them at different times. So I've loaded them in where I have my URLs or my local version, which is loaded here on the side, construction CSV. And then I'm loading each of those into the preload function. So data is gonna store the construction one and sub data is gonna store the subway um, data then I need to basically do the same thing that I would normally do for accessing columns and rows, but I need to specify which data set they're coming from. So here I'm getting the number of rows, but I'm getting it from the first set of data, the construction one. The second one, sub rows, is coming from the subway data. So notice I'm using data and sub data. So I'm getting two different values there. And here it's doing print num rows. And if I did print sub rows, we should see different information, right? So for 4,425 versus 473. And this is part of the reason that I don't want to put them in the same CSV file. Like I don't want to just copy and paste the information from here into here um, because there's only going to be, you know, a set amount of rows that are here and it's not going to be exactly the same as what's here so that's part of the reason that i'm keeping them separate and then i go down and i'm getting the latitude and the longitude from and all of the other data the city the award and the description and this is all coming from the construction csv and notice i'm using data dot get column when i'm getting it from the subway I am using subdata. So I'm using again the dot notation, but I'm changing the variable name and I'm addressing it with a different um, variable for latitude and longitude than what I had from the construction data. So this one makes sense to just call sublat and sublong. Now, here's what's kind of interesting because I want these to be scaled at the same way. I don't need to get the minimum and maximum value for the second set of data because I want them to be mapped on the same scale as my original set of data that I was bringing in. So here I'm getting the latitude and minimums and maximums and the longitude minimums and maximums, and those are coming from the construction CSV. So if I'm going to just write up here. And then I'm just debugging. And here I'm getting the award minimum and maximum. So that way I can scale the size of these circles. And then just like we've seen before, I am remapping my construction. This is my construction. Construction for loop. I'm going by the number of rows, which is coming from my data. So which is the construction one. And it's going to cycle through and remap the latitude and longitude based on their minimums and maximums. And then I'm also mapping the award. So if we look at this, the awards go from zero to uh, a lot of money. Um, and I'm rescaling it down to be two, either two pixels wide or 20 pixels wide. And then I'm drawing these ellipses here, right, with the map longitude and map latitude with the map award. So this is all 
the construction circles. Now here, this is my subway drawing. And one thing you'll notice, and this is what I was mentioning before, is I am using that same minimum and maximum from the one here. So I'm using that construction minimum and maximum to map out my subway and latitude and longitude. And I'm doing that so it stays on the same scale. And then down here, it's drawing the blue circles, blue-ish circles with a little bit of opacity um, right on top. So the blue ones are the subway and the red ones are the construction. And this is all happening inside setup. I don't even have draw down here at the bottom. So the really big differences are A, if you're bringing in two sets of data, you need two variables, two different variables. You need to store your table in two separate values. And then if you're mapping at this like uh, geolocation, you wanna keep um, them both on the same scale. So that way they're both being mapped in the same way. And that that's it.